Good morning. Well, we have whatever time this goes up in life. But anyway, it's morning for me. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Bully. If you're new here, I'm currently going or making my way to breakfast. Oh, by the way, hi. These are my new nails. These are not bad at all. I did them at Nails by Letty D in in um, Ravonia. She's in Ravonia. Anyway, so. I'm on my way to breakfast. We have a bit of a breakfast date with the girls, and then I have to go to um, have to go in store to shoot content. So if I if if um, I was chatting to Lebu yesterday, and if she's able to accompany me, then I know she'll be able to vlog. But if not, I might not be able to vlog shooting in store because. I need to be shooting content, right? Um, it's a valence campaign. Obviously, by the time this is up, it would have long gone or long passed. And they're having a 70% off sale. Uh, yeah, they're having a 70% off sale. So it's kind of one of those campaigns of the quick turnaround because it needs to be submitted by Monday. Um, what did we do yesterday? Yesterday was a bit of a chill day after the yeah Rihanna event that Fenty sorry Fenty event was on Thursday. Friday I was just running errands. Okay, running errands. <laughs> oh, I was gonna start something but I won't start anything. So yeah, let's have a good day. Let me show you to like I said we're going to um a place in Hyde Park. It's fairly new, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I do stand to be corrected. Um, um, but it's called Be 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 If that's how it's said, but it's spelled Be Sauce. Be Be Sauce. Be Shu Be Su Be Shu. It's kisses. So I know kisses in Portuguese is Be Shu, but I don't know if that's how they spell it. I know because of Jess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're going there and we're gonna just have a, a good chilled morning. I'm just happy to oh, I'm gonna have a chai latte Or maybe a yummy like a, a yummy something, but yeah, I'm really craving a, a chai latte and a really good breakfast Hopefully I don't choose Maybe is name? E, that thing I always choose when we go for breakfast French toast but the likelihood of me choosing French toast is very high. Let's catch up when we get there. I am... Am I late? I'm going to... I think I'm going to run late by... We're supposed to meet by half past nine. It's quarter past nine. And I live quite further out. So it might take me a little bit of time to get there. But let's see who's going to be there on time. If it's going to be the girl who lives further out, I feel like the person who might be there on time is between me and Nyanda. It's between me and I and I and I might actually be there on time after that I have no faith in in Lebu honestly no faith <laughs> and not in a bad way I just you know when you know your friends you know your friends Gabby I don't know I think she can be on time but not always yeah so I'm, I'm also not gonna have faith in her Gabi and Lebu are my bets. So let's see. According to my bets, who's going to be there on time? So I'm gonna. I'm putting it this way. I'm putting it. Ayanda first. Uli second. Gabelo third. Lebu last. In fact, Gabelo and Lebu could switch, but that's my order. Let's see if I get it right. Going all to different places, different planets But you all pass me by, losing balance She arrived first, <laughs> she's first I them wrong so, so on the channel, on my YouTube I'm, I'm making like assumptions as to who's gonna get you first oh, okay. And between you and Lebu <laughs> Thank you. I'm working on my Based on the love, I'm you can tell. Pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like to pass life. You like to drive, get down dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. The wrong place now. Where? Down there. Yes, we all did. Yes. Okay, so the order is as follows. Gabi was first, me second, Ayanda third, as predicted. 
That's the only prediction I got right. I thought Ayanda was gonna be first. Girls worldwide. <laughs> Ayanda's in her bed era. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, it is my goodness. It has been a little bit of a minute um, since um, the last clip. As you can see, we've got some cornrows and they're quite grown out. There was a day where I spent a, a full day. At Grey Skin and Wellness, I went in for a wax sugaring um, around um, uh, the bikini area. I went for the first time under arms because that came free, and I got my pedicure done, and then I got hair treatment done, and I got cornrows. Went next, literally next door from Grey Skin and Wellness, and I did my head money to blow. Like I, we did a lot, but that day I was just like, no, I'm tired. I am tired, just tired. And I remember sharing that with Kevin. I was like, my guy, probably look tired right now, but I'm not that tired. It's just how I look, but I'm not as tired. I went to the gym this morning. Um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, apart from that, I'm good. I'm really good. So, a quick one. Let's do a quick unboxing. And then we're going to, I've got two things from, two boxes from Superbulous. In Dabuchi, sometimes there we go. In Dabuchi, sometimes Superbulous will send you like a tiny little teeny teeny thing. Epoxy nengag. Got in denga no odil. Then I'm gonna give you all the tea on my honeycomb order, right? And then we're gonna talk about some other things. So bear with me. So first things first, I'm gonna open this box. Uh um, okay, so oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I got the ordinary serum. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls have even more gorgeous skin. Please, can you focus, my darling? There we go. So I got the ordinary peeling solution. I have finally learned how to master the art of using both um, actives, but also making sure not to overdo it to mess up in order to not mess up my skin barrier. Um, so. That's that. And then I'm also really um, interested to try this. I'm already using the the Love Kinks Hairline Serum, but this is the multi-peptide um, uh, it's hair density serum that I'd like to use. So post um, baby, my hair has been more on the breaky side. Is that the right way? There we go. And all these I've got, as you can tell, from Superbulous, so you can order while stocks last. So I'm going to be giving this a try, and I'll give you the tea on how that works. I think what I'll do is I'll actually put this, because I haven't sprayed my hair this morning. So I'm, or this today, because it's now past 12. So I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to give you all the tea. Honestly, also, because of I realized that when I do full bald cap method, it messes and thins out my, my nape area. That's the only, only reason. But when I apply my wigs normally, because I'm able to apply it here and I don't really touch this area here, or I try not to, then my hairline is fine. But during the time when I was getting a lot of installations done, was a little bit tricky, so we'll see how we're gonna do that. Last box. Um, should I zoom it out a little bit? Okay. Last box. Last box. Ninja. One thing. Where three of these items could have fit in one box, please, please. Um, so I've got a leather belt. It's small. It's so small. I told you guys I don't have a belt, but I went to pick and pick clothing and got and found a belt there. Um, and then this is the one I had in my cart from Superbalist. So it's a start. It's better than it's better than nothing. 
it's really better than nothing it's, it's very cute it's small not as small as i expect but that's fine i actually think it's not bad that's not bad so there's that now let's get into the honeycomb hair tea okay so i ordered the honeycomb hair i wanted to start with the bob the so i ordered the bob b unit i ordered the bob b unit on the 20th of June. So what you do right now, right now, the system is as follows. I do understand that there are obviously a lot of changes that are currently happening. So yes, this is just me giving you my experience. And I think it's only fair for me to share with you my experience. Okay, cool. So I ordered the unit. So what you do is you go on their DMs. You say, hey, I want this. They say, no problem. They send banking details. You, you pay. P.O.P. and then they say send your P.O.P. to this with your address and your number. Ne? So I did all that, all of that on the 20th. By 4 o'clock, I'm sure, on the 20th, I had already sent my proof of payment to the email address they gave me with my address and my phone number. Mind you, delivery says, if I'm not mistaken, about 3 to 5 days. Max, I think 5 to 7, but it should be 3 to 5 days if I remember correctly. So um, that's all happening on Instagram. From Instagram, I pay. I send proof of payment that very same day to the emails. Okay, cool. Send it to the email address. Cool. Nah, chill vibes. A week goes by. Um, a week goes by. I'm not really worried. Ten days go by. I'm like, hmm. So I see that now the account obviously is posting more hair. But then I'm just like, wait, ma'am ma'am where's my hair you know so i go back and i read and i'm like hi um i think this is now two weeks after 20th of june now now we're in july first week of july so this is last week yes because we're second week of july so this is last week so i'm like excuse me ma'am i do recall paying and sending proof of payment boom mice so mice and it's an account that's active you can see they're posting but now i'm not getting responded to but listen then i go back to the email copy send again to the email okay then i get a response oh no hey so maybe the assumption was ah this person's playing games with us because we never got anything granted but i sent right so on my side it shows sent when they type in my email address so the email that i used when I look at the send and type out the email address, it shows twice. On their side, it shows once. That's what the lady screenshot. No, I'm so sorry. Look, we, we couldn't see it on our side. On our side, we just seen the one you're sending now. And based on what I was sending now, they probably thought this girl is wiling. Lies. But, but I had already paid. Fine. I, uh, I'm i just like, hey, man, it's fine. Just the like email is happy. So the, that was on whatever day then they sent literally the hair the next day. So I get the hair last week and I only open it this week because I'm going to wear it tomorrow. So I'm sitting with my husband um, at one of these evenings, the evening, the night before. Today's Friday, so Wednesday evening. I'm, I'm lying. No, 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 it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening. So I'm sitting with him Wednesday evening and I decide to open the hair. So this is how the hair comes. Um, in a beautiful package actually also the the brand label is Stella 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 the the what do you call the sorry the logo beautiful logo beautiful logo then this is how the box comes right it's just this bag but the hair comes in this little nook there with a thank you note so the hair does come pre-customized when they say pre-customized they say bleached they're just gonna bleach the knot, they're, they're not gonna pluck it for you, which they do state, so that's fair enough. So what I did is that I went further to pluck it because I'm like, girl, you ain't gotta be spending a grand every time you want hair customized. Um, so that is what I've done. I just briefly plucked, um, brief, not briefly. I just, I guess to the best of my ability, plucked the hair. So, yeah, I am going to wear it tomorrow. I bought it. I'm going to wear it. Am I going to order another unit? I really do want to because um, they have this new, they have that big fluffy hair that uh, Mbali, Mbali, aka Clean, Guide to Clean, she, oh, that hair, 
that hair on on Mbali MKH, that hair on Mbali Beauty, that hair on Pam herself is driving me insane. I am having sleepless nights over that hair. Um, so I think I really want to get that hair next. But now I think the experience was better. But shame the people who are assisting me did apologize and say, look, dude, we're sorry. We don't know what happened because we're changing systems. And it's probably correct because. I was sent to send proof of payment, for example, to abulimakubo at gmail.com and then now they're using bus, um, honeycombhair.com, if that makes sense, like a, a, a separate email address. So yeah, that's the tea. If you guys have any struggles with it for whatever reason, just DM and email. Make sure you've sent your email, make sure you have all the copies. I'm sure they'll be able to help you. So I'm super keen to wear that. Oh, now that that's out the way, we're still going to talk some more. So what, what's currently happening right now, what we're going to be doing for the remainder of the year here, here on this channel. As you've known, we've had um, such beautiful and amazing conversations and baby, that's not going to stop. But I do believe that there, we have reached the point where we are going to the next step, okay, in terms of what's happening. Um, if you do follow the Refine page, and I'm asking you to do so. So refine, like I said back then, was I thought it was just going to be one thing. Um, and to be specific, because I don't need to hide anything um, to anyone anymore. When I when the word refine came, and I was like, Lord, I really want to do so much more. And I'm passionate also about um, all things health and fitness, wellness, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you know me, you know it's no cap. So I thought refine was going to be. And when you look at what refining is and the process thereof, that's what I thought um, it would be in terms of fitness. And if you've seen me, you've seen me have the samples, wear the samples that I actually got. Then this year, God is like, Wooly, refine is not just this one thing. This is what we want to do, or this is what it is about. And I was thanking God so much because honestly, guys, um, with wife talks and husbands unfiltered, and now we're having conversations about friends, it can't just be one wife talk. It needs an umbrella. And unfortunately, I'm, I, I have been, the way God has led me is not to brand my name on every quote or on everything, the Bully Makubo podcast. I, I, God doesn't want that for me. I can't share the glory with him. It can't be his name and my name competing. Um, I just want to do what God has told me to do, you know. Um, and I see myself as just a steward as a vessel whatever god tells me to do i'm gonna do it if you know me you know that's what i live by so i remember writing in my diary i think a year if not two years ago and and for a while that lord i just want you to give me something where we'll be able to house this thing and then they come to find the beauty about refine is that yes we, we got to do intimacy reset and god was like this is what we're going to talk about intimacy reset so it's under that umbrella and the whole purpose of refine is us or it's building a community truly of people who are unashamed about Christ and we're going to grow in every aspect of our lives but we're not going to leave Christ out of it and that's what refine is we're refining our lives in every single aspect and there's going to be there are going to be so many more strides now there was definitely resistance in the beginning I cannot tell you guys that's why I was like, my biggest mistake was going forth and telling or sharing um, to people who I thought were close to me about, hey, this is, this is the burden on my heart. And it was met with so much resistance, um, but, and, and I was so devastated, so distraught, so disorientated that I was like, God, you can't tell me something and human beings react another way. Because now it's your word versus their feelings or your word versus their thoughts. So I was like, you know what, it's fine. And had to build and build and build and grow and pick up the pieces by myself. Well, not by myself, no, but with God and say, Lord, you gave it to me. I made the mistake of telling people. So now I know better and help me to grow and do better. And God has fully restored. And so with that being said, we've got about, I believe, just two more of the videos, of the sit-down videos, probably two more max that we're going to be doing this year because we're already in July. Time is flying um, and we're preparing for next year because I'm telling you now, all I'm saying is prepare for next 
yeah the structure for example when we have certain things like episodes or whatever we're going to do it in seasons so a season of whatever so that it's not all over the place like popcorn -y, like i used to do um so they will we'll definitely have more structure so we'll be filming we'll film the season but and then apart from that we'll just be getting the vlogs and i hope that makes sense um so yeah, the um, and and within Refine, there's something that's major that's going to be um, launched because it's not just about me. It's about making sure that those who sit um, and are better, um, those who sit and are watching, are also going to be, I guess, given the tools on how they can better their lives. It's no use, guys, sitting and watching someone you admire and you probably have maybe similar goals or a goal and you don't know how to go about it. Um, I, I'm understanding fully how much mentorship plays. Not to say I must be a mentor, no, but to allow people and bring people in who will be able to mentor others and equip others and tell them, hey, you want to start a YouTube channel? We're going to go on it for three months. I'm going to work with you. We're going to walk together. It's not going to be just a moment of inspiration. You're inspired. You feel butterflies for two seconds after watching a video. And then there's no change. Guys, that's our problem. So especially as Christian people. We go, we watch a sermon. We are not changed. We're inspired and encouraged. But two, three days later, we're relapsing back to the same space that we were in. You know? So I really really for me it, it matters it matters that people's lives are changed not you guys watching me thrive in any way shape or form it, it's about if god is using me to to bring in this thing for all of us to get there or as many as we can then so be it so there was supposed to be an event the last event for this year but um, I know in my heart that it will have to be next year. So next year we're still going to do Intimacy Reset by His Grace. I never knew there would be another one, but God has put in my heart that we're going to have another Intimacy Reset. Um, totally, not totally different, but slightly different if I do say so myself. Um, and then we're going to have this one um, event that I think is just going to be truly not you guys coming to watch, but really you being equipped okay and you leaving there with practical tools on how to make sure that your life is not the same go ahead and follow um it will grow we i ask that you grow with it follow it if you haven't already and don't be you know i i want you to see this thing grow and i want you to see god honor obedience i want you to see what happens and i'll do my best to obey <laughs> sometimes I get a little stubborn, but we are fixing that, okay? We're fixing that. Uh, yeah, so I'll check you guys tomorrow when I'm looking all glammed up. I had quite a couple of unboxings, guys. I got stuff from Zara. From Zara. <laughs> if you know, you know. I got some stuff from Zara. I'm wearing the pants from Zara. And then I also wore the blazer in this picture. Those are the only two new things I got from Zara. And that beautiful sheen haul. But tomorrow I'm going to be wearing the green pants because that is the thing. So, yeah, I'm also asking you guys to not watch me only. I'm like, I'm not a superstar. Just, you know, grow with me. Do life with me. Yes, do life with me. I'm asking you. That's all I actually ask for you to do life with me. Um, let's chat tomorrow.
prescription flow, may wisdom flow, that may impartation flow, that whoever is here and is in need of the very purpose of this uh, event, may they leave here filled and <coughs> equipped to do everything that they need to do in order to live again. We thank you. Amen. 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 So, my name uh, is Buli Makubo and I will be moderating today. So, I'm just going to do a quick housekeeping. Um, we are here to build community. This journey that we walk, whether single or married, we do it together. It is about community. So, we are building community. The Word of God in 1 Peter 5 verse 9 says, um, But resist him. Be firm in your faith against his attack, rooted, established, immovable. This is the Amplified Version. Knowing that the same experiences of, of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the world. And we understand that this, of course, is, this has got to do with our faith as Christians, but this has got to do with everything else that we go through. We're not alone. And I think it's about time in our space, in our community, as children of God, to stop isolating issues. Yeah. We are His, but we go through life. And it's important to go through life having linked hands with someone who can help you when you're not okay. That is healing and restoration. And we read in Psalms 23 verse 3, it says, He refreshes and restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. God will restore and do a new thing for His name's sake. People in this world are watching us. Yes, our lives will fall apart. Things will happen. You know, we will go through and experience things. But God is not going to allow His children, the ones with His, the Son, with the, son, with the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, to go through life and be made a laughing stock. Not in His name. Not in his name. Yeah. My story. Mm -hmm. God can, there's so much more to me than what I've been through. Yeah. Um, what I've experienced, uh, the pain, the rejection, you know. Um, God can That's still great. erase that hurt and write your, write you a new chapter. Mm -hmm. he, he can still do it. And for me, that was a purpose of today to encourage people to know that. Uh, so now, when that is taken away, what are you now? And the most painful thing that used to happen to me, uh, because I was still young, um, now I go to church and you greet me. You greet. I mean, this couple, you knew them, you know them, you thought they are your friends. As you greet, you see the wife blocking you, you see. <laughs> I, I think you know what I'm talking about. Eh? Uh, you see them blocking. Listen, I want to hear you today. Don't take it personal. And, and, and I, I developed a, a, an attitude of saying, when I go to church, I mind my own business with my children. I don't greet anybody. And I walk out. And that was still not good. Because I was robbing myself yeah. of that. Life is never perfect. Um, I'm content and I know that I've come a long way to get to this point and by the time I told him it, everything was in place I'd signed the lease everything so that also um, I'm not convinced to stay it's too late I've signed the lease I've paid my this you know no other way um, and that's what happened I moved out uh, April 2019 I instituted divorce around June of 2019 and um, my divorce. Oh, uh, where's the upstairs? Where's the rest of the house? And my heart sank, guys. I can say it now laughing because I've given her an upstairs and the rest of the house now. Um, but it's, it's tough because you know that when she goes to her dad, everything is there. And I also made the decision to leave with nothing. I left with my car, a microwave, and a bookshelf, and my clothes. This is her gift. Just a little thank you from me.
thing. I mean, with or without the divorce, the ministry was going to happen. Yes. But the divorce happened and the ministry still continues. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we were saying um, even through this uh, whole journey. So I am appreciative because I, I can imagine, I mean, we sit here and we talk about these things. And even though Mao was saying that you put away your boxing gloves, in reality, <laughs> I'm still not ready because in case you want to, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Right? So it's a process for all of us because we're all here being corrected. So even still here, if it is uh, still emotional for me, you can imagine someone who's standing here. But the beauty about it is that she has embraced her honesty. Yeah. You have embraced your truth. Yeah. And with these nuggets, I believe that when we come and meet again, things will be so different. Mm -hmm. Who knows that the people who will be standing at the door How? welcoming people will be other skakos that we cannot <laughs> 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 So with this, I know my sister is a fan of flowers. She loves flowers. Yes. Um, and Live Again, I think it's, it's amazing how much she loves flowers. And at a Live Again event, flowers mean life. And you gifted us flowers. And we will gift you flowers as well to say congratulations and to say well done. And to say I love you. my loves editing bully here and i realized that this is pretty much the end of the vlog yeah this is the end of the vlog um i didn't get any time to sign out we left after the deco people left we actually left quite later than we thought we would yeah, that is pretty much it it is the end of the vlog that actually was supposed to be so much more longer and a little bit more footage but unfortunately i'm waiting for approved content because that bit of the vlog is sponsored so you'll probably see it in the first clip in the next vlog i hope that makes sense i thank you so much for watching i hope that you've enjoyed that one don't forget to comment like and subscribe love you loads yeah my dears mm -hmm.